we looked at 31 years of FBI data uh, on homicides in the United States, both homicides generally and the killings of police officers in the line of duty. Uh, and we looked at it specifically because we wanted to see uh, if there was an effect, uh, if, if the death penalty in some manner drove murder rates. Uh, what we found was it doesn't. Uh, not only does it not make the public safer, uh, it doesn't make police safer. We looked at the, the data in a couple of different ways. First, we aggregated it to look at the average uh, to see if states that had the death penalty uh, had lower murder rates, uh, you know, because the, the death penalty was driving them down. Uh, and what we found was consistently uh, over this more than three decades uh, of, of review, uh, states that had the death penalty had higher murder rates than states that didn't. Uh, we also saw that um, when there were changes, when there were trends going up or trends going down, there was no difference. Uh, between the trends in states with the death penalty and states without the death penalty. It simply was not part of the equation. Uh, we looked at three different groups of states, states that had the death penalty, states that never had the death penalty, and states that during this 30 year period went from having it to having abolished it. Uh, and the most interesting number that we saw was that the rate at which police officers were killed was lowest in the states that had most recently abolished the death penalty. That makes no sense at all if the death penalty uh, is a deterrence, particularly uh, a deterrent with respect to, uh, to killing police officers. Uh, 